Hello and welcome back to plant tissue culture series of explore bio. In my previous videos I have talked about regeneration, organogenesis and its types. If you want to learn more about them you can check out their link in the description below. In today's video I will talk about somatic embryogenesis, its types, how it is different from zygotic embryogenesis and why somatic embryogenesis is important that is their application part. So watch the video till the end. Before directly jumping on to somatic embryogenesis, one should know what a zygotic embryo is. Naturally, during pollination, when pollen fuses with the ovule to form zygote, this zygote undergoes several rounds of division and differentiation events to form an embryo. As the embryo is derived from zygote, it is termed as zygotic embryo and the process is called as zygotic embryogenesis. The embryo has the ability to regenerate shoot, and root and even the entire plant. Embryogenesis or embryo development involves a series of stages that differs in dicots and monocots. As you can see in this picture, dicot embryogenesis involves globular, hard-shaped, torpedo and cotyledonary stages. Whereas in case of monocots, it involves proembryo, globular, scutellar and coleoptile. The process has to be different as monocots have only one cotyledon and dicots have two. Coming on to somatic embryogenesis. In contrast to zygotic embryo, a somatic embryo is derived from any type of somatic cells. It can be a leaf, stem or root tissue but preferably it should be a juvenile one. Somatic embryogenesis is not a natural process as somatic cells do not form embryos naturally. However, artificially you can induce somatic cells by altering the hormonal composition in plant tissue culture to de-differentiate the explant to totipotent stem cells which divides and re-differentiates to give rise to a somatic embryo. This embryo can be used to regenerate whole plant. Auxin play an important role in induction of embryo formation. For maturation of embryo, reduction or absence of auxin is important. In some plants, cytokinin and ABA also helps in maturation of somatic embryo. Depending upon the plant species, explant and type of somatic embryogenesis, selection of hormone and its ratio needs to be optimized. Similar to organogenesis, somatic embryogenesis is also of two types. Direct somatic embryogenesis and indirect somatic embryogenesis. In direct somatic embryogenesis, embryo is directly generated from explant source without calicing stage. In this figure you can see that the leaf sheath A starts to develop somatic embryo as seen in B, C and D. Auxin and cytokinins play an important role in direct somatic embryogenesis. In indirect somatic embryogenesis, first callusing is induced where auxin play an important role and later somatic embryo is developed. There are several advantages of somatic embryogenesis over natural or zygotic embryogenesis which makes them useful for wide applications. Let's see some of the important ones. In case of somatic embryogenesis, you can generate clonal individuals as there is no fertilization and no recombination of genes. Therefore, it is important method for maintaining and propagating pure lines and varieties of commercially valuable trees, flowers and medicinal plants. Some plants which do not produce viable seeds, for example banana, they can easily be multiplied producing somatic embryos. The somatic embryos can be used to produce synthetic seeds but they lack seed coat and other outer coverings unlike seeds that are developed from zygotic embryos. It is a promising way to conserve germplasm resources of rare and threatened species. Somatic embryogenesis also finds its application in genetic transformation through agrobacterium or biolistic methods. But the major issue with somatic embryogenesis is that they need sophisticated plant tissue culture laboratory to be produced. So that's all for the today's video. If you like the information, do share it with others. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. Do check out my videos on plant tissue culture, techniques, research and publishing, markers, bioinformatics and others. Thanks and see you in my next video.